All right, so Pixel Experience official based on Android 12 is available for the Poco X3 Pro. We recently did a review and quite a lot of interesting things in that particular video. A lot of you requested me to make a video on how to install it. Now the procedure to install it is really, really simple. I'm going to guide you through the basics. So follow step by step. The links are mentioned in the description. So before we get started with the install guide, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people please join us on telegram we have more than 1500 people helping each other over there and sharing new ideas and you can follow us on instagram twitter and facebook on social media last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going Now, before we actually start the video, there are two things that I would like to talk about, which are not related to this topic. First, we are getting more than 78% views from people who have not subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request. It doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content. So please click on the subscribe button and please hit the notification bell icon. At the same time, we've started a new initiative. Remember a couple of months back, like three to four months back, we started something called as Phone Ops Elite Testers in which you become a member of our community and you test ROMs and share the feedback and I give you credit in the video. That way we get to better test ROMs and give you more accurate information. So that is still open. We are looking for people who can test ROMs for us for the Mi 11X and the Poco X3 Pro. And the link for that group is mentioned in the description. Now the new initiative that I was talking about is we have started something called as PhoneOps Think Tank. Now we don't want to be focused just on custom ROMs and limited to these three devices. We would like to bring you content which is interesting for you. Something like tech news, daily things, upcoming devices, upcoming softwares and things like those so you can be a member of that particular group you can share your ideas and we can make videos on that and bring this to the masses universal topics which everyone can watch so both the links for elite testers and phone ops think tank are mentioned in the description go ahead and fill the form and join us and have some fun so let's talk about pixel experience as a whole this rom is really really great it there were some small mistakes that i made in yesterday's video it does have the screen recorder. I was able to locate it later. So excuse me there. I mentioned that in the pinned comment section. So we have Poco X3 Pro, Wii and Bima, Android version 12 released on the 25th of December, a Christmas gift. Initial official release, December security patch using tag S for device, added OTA support for the next build and some improvements. Now this ROM is OSS based. It comes with G apps. Firmware to use is 12.0.4. SE Linux status is enforcing safety net is passing and this is the official pixel experience for android 12. now irrespective of what rom you're coming for you you know from you have to take care of a few things first things first make sure your phone has more than 50 percent battery right so that you don't have any issues while flashing the rom especially the poco x3 pro has a habit of getting bricked that is a hardware issue that is not related to roms anyways uh Apart from that, make sure that all your data on the device is backed up because you will be losing everything. We'll be formatting internal storage to flash pixel experience. Now, once you've done that, the basic thing that you need to take care of, you need to make sure that your device has an unlocked bootloader and you need to install the latest official TWRP recovery, the link for which is mentioned in the description. There is also a video on how to install TWRP. You can follow that and install TWRP. Now, once you've done all that, you just need two files. If you don't want to root, you don't want to stay decrypted, you just need two files. That is the ROM and the firmware. The firmware in this case that we are using is 12.0.4 Indian firmware. So for your device, if you're from India, always use YU in firmware and you will need the ROM, of course. Right now, I've kept all the files on the flash drive or a pen drive using OTG cable. That's how I like to flash ROMs. So last thing to note, if you're on MIUI, remove your MI account. If you're on any other custom ROM, you remove your fingerprint, your face unlock, your pattern, pin, and reboot your device and make sure that you're good to go. Now, once you've taken care of all of those things, you need to reboot into Orange Fox Recovery, right? So we will go to restart and press and hold volume up and power to boot into Orange Fox or TWRP. All right, now once you've booted into TWRP, go to wipe advanced dalvik data cache just wipe these three if you wish you can wipe internal storage if you're using otg pen drive like me but we'll be doing a format data anyways so so wipe is done now go to install select storage and select the otg now over here first select the firmware select add more zips and select the custom rom that is pixel experience official 
Now these are two files. They will take about 45 seconds to a max of one minute 30 seconds or one minute 45 seconds to flash. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now as you can see, everything has been flashed. Just go through this log to ensure that you don't have any errors. These errors are the earlier ones. You can ignore them. Now go to the main screen, go to wipe, select format data and type in yes. There you go, reboot system now. You may now go ahead and disconnect the flash drive. Your ROM should have flashed just fine. We will wait for the ROM to boot up so that I can show you that we have indeed booted into Pixel Experience Official based on Android 12. The first boot will take anywhere between 15 seconds to 45 seconds. These are modern devices with Android 12 and they don't really take a very, very long time. Now, while I'm talking, you have the Google logo, the dark Google logo, that's the boot animation and bam you have booted in less than 30 seconds, I believe. I'm quickly going to skip through all the options over here. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen and if you go to settings, you go to about phone and you go to Android version 12, you will see that we have official Pixel experience available. It is working absolutely fine. No stutters, no jitters, no you know force closures. So this is a step-by-step -step guide to easily install official Android 12 based Pixel experience. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, subscribe and take care.